Hi, welcome to today's edition of It's Your Business. I'm your host, Cindy Doherty, and we are very pleased to welcome our guests today, Lisa Robinson and Lisa Geigel from Dream Dinners here in Anderson Township. So thanks for being with us today, guys. Thanks Appreciate that you. very Thank much. You. Thank you. Um, our, my first question for you is to ask you what, what is Dream Dinners and what services do you provide? Um, Dream Dinners is a meal preparation concept and our business is that we do all of the meal, menu planning, all of the grocery shopping for all of the ingredients, and all of the preparation of the ingredients so that guests can come in and spend an hour and have meals to help them get dinner on the table for the coming month. And when you say an hour, that's a lot of meal preps. You can do a lot in an hour. It is. Our guests generally make between uh, 12 to even up to 30 meals, depending on how many nights a week in that month they want help getting dinner on the table. Which in today's world is a, a nice a thing. <laughs> that's yes. a real help, an it, organizational it tool. Mm -hmm. um, so then they're fr they're, they take them home and they're frozen, then they mm -hmm. just thaw them out and follow the directions that you have in the little packets and right. the idea is you would pick a day of the week and you would pull your meals out of the freezer that day and they're good for up to a week in the refrigerator okay so as you need help uh, we even have a freezer sheet that will tell you how long it takes to prepare each meal and okay. so if you have 15 minutes to fix dinner then you know which one you're going to make that night if you have all day there's crock pot meals or there's pan meals that can be just put in the oven and ready to go. That it makes it so much easier, <laughs> yes. especially yes. for a non-cook, and yep. you're talking to a non-cook. Um, so what did you, how long have you been in the business? Let's start with that too. We've been in the business <laughs> for, um, it will be eight years in February okay. at Anderson Town Center. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we, um, we started our, our, the thinking that we were going to open uh, the store about a year prior to mm -hmm. that. So. So you mentioned thinking about that. How did you guys get into this? Well, when the first store in Cincinnati opened, and I believe they opened like in 2006, I'm going to say, there was a write-up in the food section of the paper. And I read about the concept, and I was a working mom, and I love to cook, but just finding the time to be able to cook and to do that planning was like a real struggle. And um, I just read about the concept and passed it on to Lisa, who we live in the same we lived in the same no neighborhood at that point in time, and um, she was coordinating uh, girls events. Yeah, events for like ladies getting like girls night out, and uh, we got a group of ladies to go visit the Blue Ash store and make a meal, and we both were just so excited about it when we were just like hallelujah, <laughs> and so that kind of sparked us. So I can the, see why because yeah, um, I, I did. I came over to your, your place and made a dinner, and it was so much fun. Yes. It was just a lot of fun. I can mm -hmm. see where it would be not only the meal prep, but a social. Mm -hmm. um, there's a social aspect to it. Mm -hmm. If you got a group together, like you said you right. did, and girls' night right. out, and right. just have some fun and laughs. And, and for all of us, it up. just clicked right away. Like, yeah. this is such an amazing concept. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was I had little kids, and I could spend more time playing with my kids and not worrying about what am I going to make for mm -hmm. dinner tonight? Right. And I took pride because I made the meal, so I took all the credit for getting <laughs> dinner on the exactly. table. <laughs> and they loved it. It was good, and it was good for them. Mm -hmm. So I just thought this was the best thing ever. There's no yeah. downside. Yeah. Right, that, that feeling of, of rolling our coolers. We make all the meals, and, mm -hmm. and they're in the refrigerator, but when we roll guests out, we fill up their cooler. And as a guest, I remember just that great feeling of knowing I had meals for the whole month coming up that were going to help me take some of that stress out of, oh my gosh, it's four o'clock, what are we going to eat, what are we going to pick up through the drive through exactly. and it just, it just took a huge load off. It's a huge sense of accomplishment. Oh, it, yeah. I, I, don't, I can't tell you how many times I was in Kroger's at 4 o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon going, scratching my head going, now right. what am I going to do? Right. And yeah. the challenge with that when you were at Kroger, you still may get lots of ingredients, but sometimes you still walk out and you're like, I have to make it, or I forgot something, exactly. or maybe you picked up the ice cream and all the junk food that you didn't intend to, <laughs> to, to pick up. So it kind of, it helps with the budget from that perspective as well. Which is, yeah, that's something that I didn't really think about mm -hmm. when, I know when I sat down with you two, I said that my main misconception, as I know now, was that this was going to be 
pricey. Mm -hmm. And anytime, anytime I think about something that's already prepared, I think, oh, that's probably nice, but it's going to cost me a lot more than if I go to the store. Mm -hmm. Not true. It's, you it's, convinced me. It's similar <laughs> to what you would get at the drive-thru going to fast for food for a, a meal. And yeah. It's so much better for your family. Absolutely. It's so much better quality. Well, mm -hmm. and you're not buying extra ingredients no. that you don't need. Right. You don't have the waste. It's all right there. There's no waste mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, it's, it's lower in cost. It's a time saver. Mm -hmm. It's healthier. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many advantages to to doing it that way. Mm -hmm. um, you have a variety of menus. Uh -huh. Right. Um, yeah, our menu changes every month. So we always have a combination of beef, pork, chicken, seafood, pasta. And so you have variety as well. With um, I think most people get into that rut where you have five, six, seven recipes that you're always yep. eating. And That's this also did. helps with uh -huh. variety, um, exposes kids to different meals than maybe they would have been exposed exactly. to. Exactly. And we also good. talked about Weight Watchers uh -huh. that, yep. that you all have. Um, all the nutritionals the nutritionals for our are, meals are right. available. So if people are watching sodium or fat or sugar, all of the meal nutritionals are available before they select their meals and they can personalize it to mm -hmm. what works for them and their family. And we have substitutes. So if you would prefer brown rice or whole wheat pasta, we have that available. And you also have separate sides, I know. Yes. You can fix mm -hmm. a dinner that mm -hmm. you may suggest a side, but then you also have a freezer mm -hmm. that you can just select sides and take those home with your meal. It right. really helps people round out their plate. So mm -hmm. um, some of our meals do come with sides, but some do not. And we have so many different types of vegetables and, and different types of sides and even breakfast items and desserts that can go with your meal. <laughs> Lots of choices. Mm -hmm. yes. I was just really impressed with the number of, of uh, choices that you offer. Um, another thing we talked about that I thought was really interesting was the nature of the franchise. Because mm -hmm. again, I, I think, well, if you want to buy a franchise, you've got the money, you go buy a franchise. And that's not the not way the this case. works. <laughs> no, no. We had to go through an extensive interview process. We had uh, personality tests. We had phone interviews. We flew to Seattle, where the home office is based, and had to go through quite a few interviews. Mm -hmm. And they had to make sure we were the right fit. So it's a con an accomplishment it that you I guys mean, passed. Yes, yes <laughs> it is. I mean, they're really trying to maintain the mission and the whole um, feel that we we truly care about the guests that come into our store and we are changing their lives by having this concept and so home office is the really making sure that um, we can carry that mission through and be sincere in our relationships with them and, and have the passion for what dream dinners can do for families and I, and I think that means a lot that and that's something maybe people don't think about is it's not just preparing meals. Right. I mean, your your mission is to provide more family time, mm -hmm. better food, better nutrition, mm -hmm. um, free up some of that, a lot of that prep slash shopping time, mm -hmm. right? And and really do something important for the the family mm -hmm. unit, which is, mm -hmm. I think that's huge. There's I'll, so much research that, that has been done that shows that families that sit together at least three to four nights a week at the dinner table and have quality conversations without the TV on, no distractions, they, those kids do so much better in life. So we are really striving to help families out. I believe that. So you're really kind of in the relationship building business in a way, Yes. too, which yes. we all need help with that. Right. We, we have many all... customers that have been with us from the day we opened mm -hmm. in 2007 in February. Um, and they are like our family. And um, when our guests come into our sessions, because they do come at a certain time, they make an appointment. Mm -hmm. And we know they're coming. We know what meals they want to make because they've selected those before. But we get to spend time with them while they're in our store. And it's our time to nurture them. So we're trying to nurture the nurturers. And it doesn't have to be the mom. We do have men that come and make meals as well. But we really want to pour in to them and be that one hour, one and a half hours that we're trying to fill them up. And, and that really is part of what we're trying to do. Well, and that was evident when I came over to put my meals together. I mean, it was just so friendly and welcoming and just such a nice experience. Mm -hmm. We want and, people to have fun when they're well, there. Well, yes, I, I had my significant other with me and he uh -huh. was just totally into it. They put an apron on him and he got right in there and was like, wow, this is fun. Yeah. Um, and he has a couple of grandkids on the way and said, wouldn't this be great for new moms. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, what a gift. Yes. Uh -huh. To do for somebody like mm -hmm. that or someone who's 
Has maybe surgery struggling. or right, exactly. yeah, health concerns exactly. and yep. I mean, there are a lot of different scenarios, not just mm -hmm. the time savers, but mm -hmm. people that really, really could use the service. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think you guys told me about someone who came all the way from Oh, the Portsmouth? east side of Ohio, yes. Was yeah. it we have two Portsmouth? ladies that come once a month, so I think it's a two-hour drive each way for them. Yeah. Um, and they will come and make those meals. That's how beneficial it is to them to have that four-hour round trip plus the hour to hour and a half that they're in our store because it helps them so much during the month. So mm -hmm. we really have loyal guests. We have people as that well. come from Dry Ridge, Kentucky. We have people that come from all over. So that, that says a yeah, lot it it does. It, about how much they enjoy it and how much they mm -hmm. gain from mm -hmm. the, the service, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is yes. wonderful. Um, talk a little bit about your relationship with Comfort Foods. Well, Comfort Foods is an organization that is just does the best things. They, um, the founder had a son who was uh, critically or sick and in the hospital, and she just, when people would bring her food and meals, it just meant the world to her because you're so focused as a family on getting your child better. Sure. Mm -hmm. And she saw that need. So we work with them. They raise funds and they have volunteers that will come in and prepare the meals. And then they will go deliver the meals to Children's Hospital, the Ronald McDonald's House, uh, the Cancer Society, different organizations where there are families who have children that are just so sick that they can't think about making dinner. Wow. So it helps to get the families together. That's that's really special. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and that's something that I don't think, you certainly don't advertise it, really, but it's right. something that the, the public should know. I mean, that's that's a really important thing that, that you guys do. Yeah. Just, that's great. Yeah. Um, I also know that you've been in, involved with the Anderson High School Marketing Program that's mm -hmm. also through Great Oaks. but. Mm -hmm. um, how, what did you do with that program? Well, we are members of the Anderson Chamber, obviously, okay. and um, the marketing teacher at Anderson um, made a plea or a request through the chamber if there were businesses out there that um, would like to kind of support the marketing students with them doing projects. And so we've had students learn about Dream Dinners and do presentations at the chamber meeting uh, related to, to Circle and Buzz Glue. And um, it just, it's a business that we can be used as an example for them to develop their real life skills. Sure, part, yeah. part of the, um, having taught the business management program mm -hmm. at, at Anderson for 16 years, I, I'm familiar with the program and I know that without people who are willing to be involved in those programs, mm -hmm. the kids don't, you know, they don't have the opportunity to learn what it's like to run a business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, every, you can do as much book learning as you, right. as you want, but right. once you get in there and find out what the day-to-day -day is like, right. I mean, there's I no substitute a, for that. It was a great experience for the kids. They, they really did their homework and learned about our business and came up with these advertisements, Good. and they presented it at the chamber meeting to all the local businesses that were there, and it was just a great experience Good. for us as well as them. Well, that's, that's the goal is for it to be as beneficial for you as it is mm -hmm. for them, and hopefully that's that's the way it should work. Mm -hmm. um, but I know Karen was really pleased, the, the teacher of the program was really pleased with how that all worked out. Mm -hmm. So thank you for supporting the schools in that way too. <laughs> um, what do you think is the most <coughs> satisfying thing about small business ownership? Well, I think this is maybe specific to our small business, um, but we feel that we are impacting family times in our community. And that's important for each of us individually, for our own families, and for this business model to be able to be shared with families in our area and help them get that family time is the biggest benefit we feel out of it. I mean, So I know most people will tell me that what they didn't realize was the work that was gonna be involved, <laughs> the time that they spent mm -hmm, going right. into it. Mm -hmm. But I get a feeling from you that even though there probably is more time than you a might lot have thought, more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, right. it's, that it's well worth it. And then you have been oh, completely. I've really enjoyed what what you're doing. We have learned a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we yeah. we did not go in this wanting to open a franchise or anything. Because <laughs> you, had you been business owners before? Uh, our all? other partner Kim and Lisa didn't even know each other when right. we. Uh, Oh, we should do this. I mean, all, <laughs> all three of us had business. We all went to business school, but we did okay. not own our own business. So this was so. a pretty new endeavor. Yeah, to completely. Just jump into. Right, completely just jump in. New. Yeah, I had no idea you. what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> but but, but we, you learned along the way. We did. Yeah, we that's, did. That's so great. And and we would not want to be without Dream Dinners. I mean, we cannot envision 
our personal lives not having dream dinners as part of it. Uh -huh. So well, I think that says an awful lot about the two of you and about <laughs> how great the business is. Uh -huh. Congratulations on your success. Thank, thank you. you. So we are just about out of time, but um, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having um, us. Mm -hmm. It helps the Anderson Township residents to know you a little bit better and, and know about mm -hmm. what your business does and and hopefully we'll encourage them to come out and give it a try because yeah, yeah. I can uh -huh. vouch for it that it was, <laughs> it was really fun and the food was actually it was really really good so thank you good job Thanks. thank you um, to our audience thank you for joining us today we hope you will join us the next time for our next um, edition of it's your business <laughs>